Hi there. Welcome in. I'm going to be your doctor today. I'm Dr. Min. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So I see today that we are doing a pelvic exam and according to your chart, you haven't had a like gynecological visit before. No? Okay. Are you a little nervous? Yeah, that's totally understandable. It's to a little awkward the first time, I know, especially when you don't really know what you're getting yourself into, but it's going to be totally okay. I'm going to talk you through everything that we do, and if you ever feel uncomfortable in any situation, just tell me and we can stop. Okay? Good. So we're going to leave the, like, the exam for later. We're just going to kind of talk for a little bit. I'm just going to ask you general questions and then we'll get into more like your sexual health and then I'll do a little normal health screening. We'll check your heart rate, breathing, vision, etc. And then we'll move into the part where you're going to undress and we'll probably do a urine sample as well just to do a general check for any kind of sexually transmitted diseases. It's just a, you know, just pee in a jar. It's not a big deal. We just check for, for the basic ones. Yeah, just in case. Okay, so let's begin then. Okay, so we're gonna start with super basic questions. So to begin, can you just confirm your address for me, okay? Perfect, that matches up. And what is your preferred pharmacy? Okay. Good. And is that the one downtown or on the west side? Perfect. Um, and any changes with your insurance that you know of? New provider, anything? No? Okay. Look that down. Perfect. Good. Um, and what's your diet like? Do you eat pretty healthy normally? A lot of fast food, processed foods? Okay. About how many times in a week do you say do you eat out? All right. And then how would you rate your sleep? Do you say you get good sleep, that being at least 70 hours um, or less sleep than that or more potentially okay. and then what would you rate your stress levels between none moderate lots of stress okay. and then what are your major like factors for that stress that you're having is it school relationships, either like family, friends, um, your partner. Okay. And what would you say your general emotional state is? Do you have a positive outlook on your life? Um, a neutral, negative? Okay. All right, and do you take any vitamins? or any medications that we might not have down? And is that just a daily woman's multivitamin? Okay. Um, any birth control? Anything like that? Okay. And do you know the uh, dosage on that? Are you getting that from an online? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Now we're going to start moving into a little bit more personal questions. And again, I'm your doctor. Anything that you say in this room is not leaving this room. Your health information is protected. Yeah, so it's really important to make sure that you're honest with me. So in case say you're having unprotected sex, then I would know, okay, we need to be looking out for STDs, etc. We need to make sure that you are up to date on your HPV vaccinations, things along that nature, just to make sure that you are protected. 
okay? Okay. So even if it's embarrassing, just totally feel free to say it. I've heard it all. So no need to worry. Okay. So when was the date of your last period? The start and the end date. Okay. Are your periods normally that long or do you do the seven days shorter? Okay. And is it about 28 days in between each cycle? And you take the, yeah, the pill, so it keeps about 28 days. Okay. Great. Have you had any breakthrough bleeding while on the pill at all? No? Okay, great, great. Have you noticed any symptoms? Like, do you have a stomach ache when you take it? Weight gain? Emotional changes? Like that. And now, are you sexually active? Okay. And how many partners have you had? And male, female, both? Mm -hmm. And do you always use protection? Some of the times, never. Okay. Do you drink any alcohol? Um, smoke any tobacco products or just use any tobacco products, chew, vape, etc. Well, that would be nicotine, but you know what I mean. Do you use any other recreational drugs, marijuana, anything like that? All right, so again, a little more personal. Have you noticed any changes in your discharge in like color, smell, texture? Anything, yeah, that's not normal. Okay. And then, let's see. Have you noticed any itchiness down there at all? Nothing super itchy. Okay. Do you have any pelvic pain? No pain during intercourse. Okay. Does your family have any history of breast, ovarian, or uterine cancer? Okay. And then any colon or cervical cancer? Have you ever had an STI yourself or a UTI? Okay. All right then. So next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna get some vitals on you real quick. So I'm gonna use my stethoscope. All right. I'm just going to be listening to your heart and then your breathing, okay? So just breathe normally for me. I'm going to listen to your heart first, okay? I warm this up in my hands a little bit. Okay. And then just breathe normally in through your nose, out through your mouth for me. I'm just listening to your heart, okay? You're doing great. Okay, now I'm gonna listen to your breathing, so just take a few deep breaths for me, okay? Just... Ah, no. Okay, and again. In. And out. Okay, again. In. And out. And one more time. In. And out. Good, okay, everything there sounds marvelous. Get those back. I'm gonna check your vision. I'm gonna use my handy dandy little light. It's kind of bright, I apologize. Just try to keep your eyes open as best you can. I'm just gonna kind of wave this around your vision. Vision, keep your eyes focused on my nose. All right. Just keep your eyes open as best you can. I know the light's really bright. Okay, 
Now I want you to follow the light. Keep your head still, but let your eyes follow the light, okay? Let's go. Okay, that looks really good. And now, keeping your head still again. How many fingers am I holding in? Good. No. Good. No. Four. Good. And again, one. Perfect. Four. Good. And ten. Great. Okay, that's looking really good. So now we're going to begin the pelvic exam, okay? First, I'm going to have you do a urine sample. I have a vial for you. We're just going to have you fill the vial at least halfway with urine. There's going to be lids in the bathroom, so you're going to go through that door. You can use the restroom. Um, there are gowns in there as well. You will just fill this, cap it. There's already a label in there with your information on it. Just stick that label in there and leave it on the counter. They'll have a nurse pick it up once we are done with our visit. And then please fully undress, bra, underwear off as well, because we will be doing a breast exam. And then you feel free to leave socks on. That's totally fine. Um, there's a gown and then you will come back and uh, we will begin the exam. We'll start with the breast exam. And I'll just do a little bit of a visual examination. And then I will be palpating your breast just to check for any lumps, bumps, anything that shouldn't be there, tenderness. But at your age, we're not expecting to find anything. It's just a good start. Yeah. And then we'll kind of show you how to do it at home because it's important for you to understand your own body. And then we'll move to the pelvic exam. And then we will begin again with a visual examination. I'll be looking for any lumps, bumps, redness, cuts, any kind of like pustules, yeah, any kind of unusual discharge that shouldn't be there, any smells, you know, all telltale signs of something not being right down there. And then we will do a vaginal exam. And we will use a speculum, and that's just going to open up your vagina so I can just see back into the cervix. We will take a swab, and I will do just a swab in there, and we will culture it. Yeah, and that'll just tell me if there's any abnormal cells on your cervix at all, which could be indicators of other types of things, you know, some being cancer, but it's not a definitive test, but can can show. Okay, so that's kind of the gist for it. I'll talk you through each thing as it comes, but here is your vial. Perfect. Just take that. I'm going to step out. You can go use the restroom, do your business, change, and when you come back out, I will come back in and we'll begin, okay? Okay. All right. How are you doing? Still a-okay? Good. Did you have any troubles filling the vial and getting everything put away, find the cap, the label? Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sanitize my hands and glow up so we can begin the exam. Okay. Um, All right. So for the breast exam, I'm just going to have, have your hands above your head. That's just going to help flatten out the breast tissue. So when you're doing this by yourself, um, a lot of people choose to do it in the shower or while laying down. Again, just put one arm up and then you'll palpate the breast and you're going to do it using very light pressure. And I'll kind of show you when I'm doing it on you. And then like a medium pressure to feel medium depth in the tissue and then a more firm to feel all the way down onto like your breast bone. Okay, so what you're looking for is you're going to want to become familiar with 
the average look of your breasts and there can be changes depending on where you are in your menstrual cycle but what you're looking for is like rippling on the skin any pitting any abnormal discharge from your nipples things like that and then when you're palpating you're trying to find any firm spots that aren't normally there again if you do find a bump while you're palpating it is not a guarantee that it is cancer it could be a cyst it could be things just kind of form during your menstrual cycle you can get firm spots so that's why it's important to be very familiar with your body to know if there are any changes and then if you do happen to find anything that is concerning to you to come in yes and to come in and get it checked out and it's also good to know that self checks aren't fool foolproof either so it's important to still come in and do your exams in the doctor's office you know get your mammograms etc yeah it's still important to get checked out okay so i'll just have you put your arms above your head and i'm gonna be touching you are you okay with that are you comfortable right now okay if at any point you start to feel uncomfortable, you need to take a break, or you just want to be done, you can do that too. Just let me know, okay? Okay. So, I'm just going to start the light pressure, okay? Super light. And also let me know if you feel any pain. Now we're going to do the medium. Nothing tender. And this is the firm pressure. Yeah, you want to make sure you're feeling all the way down to your breastbone. So that'll let you know if there's anything in the deeper tissue there. Good. See, it's not hard. You can do it in the shower. Again, you'll just do it one arm up and switch. Important to just be familiar with your body. Okay. So now we are going to move on to the pelvic exam portion. So what I'm going to do is just lay down, get comfortable, and then we are going to have you move your um, dress up to your waist area. I'm going to do just a visual examination. I'm going to be using my pen light again. And just visually examining, like I said, for any like redness, scars, cuts, Mm -hmm. Any signs of trauma there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, we're gonna be looking in case there's any telltale signs of like an STI, stuff like that. So first, no touching, okay? And I will always tell you, ask you before I touch you, okay? All right. So I'm gonna look. Gonna be examining with the line. Okay. Everything's looking good. Not seeing anything abnormal. It's looking really good. Okay. Everything looks good. I'm not seeing anything that shouldn't be there. So that is perfect. That's what we like to see. Now we are going to begin the internal exam. So to begin the internal exam, I'm going to be using two fingers. They will be inside your vagina and I'll be pressing down on your stomach and that's just going to help me feel your organs and determine any changes in shape, size, things like that. Okay. And I will be using lubricant. So let me get the lubricant on. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to rub this in. Okay. And yes, this is like an unscented medical grade vegan lubricant, so no need to worry about anything like that. Totally hypoallergenic, water-based. Okay, so now I'm going to be inserting my two fingers in you. Are you okay at the moment? Okay, now let's begin 
you're just gonna feel some pressure and I'm gonna be pressing on your stomach as well. So let me know if anything is uncomfortable or hurts, okay? Because you just should just feel pressure. Just some light pressure. Okay, let's begin. And that's good. All right. Now we are going to move on to the speculum exam. So I'll be using a speculum. Basically, it is. It's a device. It's going to go into your vagina and open it up. So the back here would be your cervix, and it's going to open up your vagina so we can see into the vagina onto the cervix. And then I will take a swab and get a sample of the mucus there. And we'll also do a pap smear where I will get some cells off your cervix. And now that can cause some vaginal bleeding. It's not gonna be painful or anything. It's kind of just feels like pressure basically. But just so you're aware, it can cause a little bit of bleeding. It's usually a little spotting and it'll stop within a few hours. Okay. So let me get the speculum. Okay. Now I'm going to be putting it in. Are you alright still? Okay, good. So let me just... Okay. Now I'm going to be opening it up. Alright. You're doing good. I'm going to get my light again. Checking this. Get in there. Okay. Visually, everything's looking good. I don't see any abnormal discharge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a swab for the mucus lining. Okay. And now I'm going to get the pap smear. So this is just essentially another swab. It's going to be on the cervix though. Yeah, I see just a little bit of pressure. Still doing good though? Okay, perfect. Let me remove that. Get that. All right. And we are all done. The speculum all out. We are all set. Let me remove these clothes. And feel free to, yeah, sit up and put your gown down. Okay. Now, any questions for me that you have? So any testing, we should get back with you um, really soon. Do you have our online portal? Do you have access to that? Do you have an account? Okay, great. So usually with that, labs take about two to three days to process. And if you check back on there, then you'll be able to see that I can communicate with you. If there's anything abnormal with your labs, or if we weren't able to get a good sample, I'm going to give you a call and just let you know either way if something was weird or if we didn't get a good enough reading then we would try to schedule you again just to do a better sample yeah. so hopefully none of that this will just be a good sample and then we won't have to see you for another three years yes so you don't have to do pap smears for if you have a regular pap smear, you don't have to do another one for another three years. You're totally good. Yeah, you only have to do them yearly if you have a regular pap smear that comes up or if you have a family history of things like cervical cancer and stuff to watch out for that's worth screening every year. Or sometimes people's insurance just want you to get a yearly pap smear. So it can kind of depend on that. But from a medical standpoint, if you've had a normal pap smear, you won't need another one for three more years. Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay. Well, you did amazing. So good for your first time. Yeah. And I hope it wasn't a horrible experience. I know it's not the most fun, but the doctor's office usually isn't very fun time. But thank you so much for being an amazing patient. I had a great time taking care of you. We will see you here again soon, okay? Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.